Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we're diving deep into a story that's as futuristic as it is strategic one that reveals how Israel has quietly built one of the most advanced space and defense technology programs on the planet. From surveillance satellites that can read a car's license plate from orbit, to ground, based lasers that can shoot down drones mid-air, Israel's space power isn't science fiction anymore, it's real, and it's already reshaping the future of warfare. This is Israel's space power explained. Satellites, lasers, and defense tech. Let's begin. In recent years, while much of the world has focused on conventional military conflicts, Israel has been expanding a different kind of battlefield space. It's not about colonizing planets or building rockets like SpaceX. Instead, it's about using space as a shield and as a watchtower. Behind the headlines, Israel's defense establishment led by the Ministry of Defense, the Israeli Air Force, and key tech giants like Israel Aerospace Industries, IE and Rafael Advanced Defense Systems has been developing cutting, edge satellite, laser, and electronic defense technologies. These innovations are designed not just to protect Israel's skies, but to control the invisible layer above them, the orbital domain. To understand Israel's rise as a space defense power, we need to look back at its early space ambitions. Israel became the eighth nation in the world to launch its own satellite into orbit back in 1988. The satellite, called Ofuk-1, marked the start of a national program that aimed to make Israel self-reliant in intelligence gathering. Decades later, that vision has evolved into a complex network of satellites, radar systems, and high energy laser technologies that now form what defense analysts call Israel's space shield. Let's start with the first part of that shield, Israel's satellite network. The eyes in the sky, the OFIC series of satellites, are among Israel's most critical defense assets. These orbiting platforms provide real-time imagery, surveillance, and reconnaissance over the Middle East and beyond. Unlike many countries that rely on foreign or commercial satellites, Israel's OFIC satellites are domestically built and launched a major strategic advantage. Each new generation of OFIC satellites brings enhanced resolution, faster transmission, and greater stealth capabilities. According to Defense Insiders, the latest OFIC models can capture images with submeter accuracy, meaning they can distinguish between a truck and a tank from hundreds of kilometers away. The most recent launch, OFIC-16, took place from Pomachim Air Base using the Shavit-2 rocket, further demonstrating Israel's independent access to space. This means that, unlike most nations, Israel doesn't need to rely on global superpowers to put its satellites into orbit. But satellites are only part of the story. Israel's defense network connects space-based intelligence with ground-based defense systems, creating a seamless link between seeing and acting. That's where Israel's laser defense systems come into play. The light shield directed energy weapons for years, Israel has been developing a next generation weapon that once existed only in science fiction, laser based air defense. The program known as Iron Beam is a revolutionary complement to Israel's famous Iron Dome system. Instead of intercepting rockets and drones with missiles which are expensive and limited iron beam uses concentrated laser energy to destroy incoming threats at the speed of light. When activated, the system can track and target a drone or short range rocket in seconds. Once locked, a beam of focused energy burns through the target midair, completely neutralizing it. No explosions, no debris, no wasted ammunition. The Israeli Ministry of Defense recently confirmed successful tests where the iron beam intercepted multiple targets, including drones and mortar shells, in various weather conditions. Defense Minister Yov Gallant called it a global game changer, saying that the system will redefine how nations defend themselves in the modern age. Experts agree. According to military analyst Colonel David Rejev, Iron Beam is the future of air defense. It's cheap, fast, and sustainable. Each laser shot costs only a few dollars in electricity compared to tens of thousands for a missile. 
The technology is part of Israel's broader strategy to create a multi-layered defense system integrating satellites, radar, cyber defense, and directed energy weapons into one synchronized network. At the top is the Aero system, designed to intercept long-range ballistic missiles. Below that are David's sling, an iron dome for medium and short-range threats. Now, Iron Beam adds a fourth, energy, based layer effectively creating a protective dome that extends from the ground to the edge of space. A quiet race for space dominance while the world often discusses the U.S., China and Russia in the context of space militarization, Israel's progress has flown largely under the radar, but defense experts say its achievements are remarkable for a nation of only 9 million people. Dr. Yel Benari, a space policy expert from Tel Aviv University, explains it this way, Israel's space strategy isn't about competition, it's about survival. The country sits in one of the most volatile regions in the world. Space gives it what no neighbor has the ability to see everything. Prepare for anything and respond instantly. Indeed, Israel's satellite intelligence network allows it to monitor developments in countries like Iran and Syria in real time. From tracking nuclear facilities to following drone launches, the country's space assets give its military a crucial edge. In 2024, reports surfaced that Israeli satellites had helped detect Iranian missile tests long before launch, allowing the IDF to prepare countermeasures. Similar capabilities are now being enhanced through AI-based data processing, where machine learning algorithms automatically flag unusual activity from satellite imagery. The laser revolution now, let's go deeper into the iron beam system, because this is where Israel's innovation truly shines. Developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, Iron Beam operates by generating a high energy laser capable of delivering over 100 kilowatts of power. The system is small enough to be mounted on vehicles or fixed defense stations. In recent demonstrations, Iron Beam successfully intercepted multiple drone swarms, a growing threat from groups like Hezbollah and Iranian backed militias. These results made global defense analysts take notice. U.S. defense officials have reportedly shown interest in co-developing aspects of the technology. In fact, in early 2025, Washington and Jerusalem signed a joint research agreement to explore laser interoperability with U.S. systems, including THAAD and Patriot. As one Pentagon insider told Reuters, Israel's iron beam is not just a regional tool. It's the prototype for a new era of defensive warfare. Public reaction and strategic impact back home, the news of Israel's expanding space and laser programs has sparked both pride and debate. Israeli citizens have expressed strong support for investments in high-tech defense, especially amid growing drone and missile threats. Social media lit up with hashtags like hash light shield and hash iron beam success after footage of live tests was released. However, some critics argue that this technology could escalate the regional arms race. Opponents worry that once Israel deploys false scale laser defenses, neighboring states might feel pressured to invest in countermeasures or even their own space programs. But supporters say deterrence is the entire point. Defense analyst Isle Rabid put it simply, the stronger Israel's shield, the less likely anyone is to test it. That's how peace is maintained here through strength, not vulnerability. Partnerships beyond Earth Israel isn't working alone. Its defense technology partnerships extend to the United States, France, and even Japan. These collaborations involve sharing research on satellite miniaturization, laser optics, and quantum communication. One of the most exciting developments is Israel's plan to integrate a I guided satellite constellations, small, low, or bit satellites, working together to provide 24-7 regional coverage. Unlike large satellites, these smaller units are cheaper to deploy and harder to destroy. This constellation, expected to go fully operational by 2026, will give Israel near-constant visual and radar surveillance capabilities, effectively ensuring that no threat goes unseen. The bigger picture why space matters, so why is all this important? In modern warfare, space is the ultimate high ground. Whoever controls it 
controls information, navigation, and surveillance. Without satellites, armies lose GPS, communication, and intelligence. By investing in space, Israel ensures it never becomes blind in a conflict. Its systems allow seamless coordination between ground, air, and cyber units. For example, a threat detected by satellite can be instantly relayed to a missile battery, which can then respond within seconds or even with a laser instantly. And unlike conventional weapons, lasers have an unlimited magazine as long as there's power, there's defense. That gives Israel a major cost advantage. Global reactions around the world, Israel's growing space capabilities are being watched closely. In Washington, U.S., officials have praised the innovation, calling it a force multiplier for Western defense. NATO members see potential applications for protecting European cities from drone attacks. In Tehran, however, the tone is very different. Iranian media outlets have criticized the move, calling Israel's laser system a destabilizing weapon. But analysts point out that Iran itself has been investing heavily in drone and missile technology, making Israel's advancements more a reaction than provocation. Meanwhile, China and Russia both developing their own directed. Energy weapons are studying Israel's progress as a model of how a small, high-tech nation can achieve strategic independence. The future beyond lasers and satellites Israel's defense research is already pushing into the next frontier, space, based lasers and quantum communication. The idea is to deploy laser systems in orbit capable of intercepting missiles even before they re-enter Earth's atmosphere. Additionally, Israeli startups are working on quantum encryption for satellite communications, which would make their date virtually impossible to hack an invaluable edge in cyber warfare. In short, Israel's space strategy isn't just about watching the skies, it's about owning the technology that defines them. Closing commentary as we wrap up tonight's report, one thing is clear. Israel's defense approach has evolved from reaction to prediction, from interception to prevention. Satellites give vision, lasers give precision, and together they create deterrence through innovation. Whether one agrees with its policies or not, Israel's technological mastery has set a new global benchmark. For a country the size of New Jersey to compete and often lead in the same technological arena as superpowers like the U, S, Russia, and China is nothing short of remarkable, as Dr. Benari put it, Israel doesn't fight for dominance in space, it fights for survival, and technology is its armor. The race for the skies has begun, and Israel is running at full speed powered by satellites, guarded by lasers, and guided by innovation. That's all for now on this special report, Israel's Space Power Explained, Satellites, Lasers, and Defense Tech. If you found this analysis insightful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay informed, stay alert, and as always stay ahead of the story.